Well, hello there, all you wonderful people of the internet. It is Friday, and we're about to have a fun, very hot weekend. It's actually 95, you said today? 95 right now. 95 right, right now outside. Um, it's so hot that the flies are not in the back of our house where the sun hits. <laughs> they have moved to the front, um, which is not a bad thing because flies here in NC are just bad. But today's video, you see this thing right behind me? Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Even I want to play inside of there, and I'm an adult. But today's video is sponsored by Sarah Silks. And this is actually really exciting for me because as soon as I got interested in the Montessori or Waldorf inspired um, type teaching and home for your kids, um, Sarah Silks was one of the first companies that I ever heard about. They have play silks. You guys know our kids love play silks. They play with them all the time. I had been wanting to get the girls more different colors for them and the ones that they've had for a while now are just starting to get a little bit worn. And so when Sarah Silks reached out to us and I found that they actually have vegan options, I was really excited. They have 100% cotton ones. They call them blossom cloths. Normally, obviously, silk is not vegan, and so trying to find new play silks for them, I was like, I'm not sure where to go to get those, and Sarah Silks does not disappoint, and these are beautiful. They're huge, too. Um, so we're gonna show they actually sent this really cool little fort as well. So we'll pull these off so you can see what it looks like. So it's a three wood square here. It's super sturdy as well. Um, it comes just like in pieces, you put it together with the screw, super easy. Ryan just did it when he got home from work. And then you take the play cloths, the blossom cloths, and you can put them right over it and create like a little fort. So I- uh, oh, Do anything you want with it really because it's just yes. the Velcro straps. Yeah, the you Velcro straps keep them together. Yeah, the Velcro straps are what came together, so you could really configure it however you would want. Um, so we, I just chose these colors because Rev loves purple, Aerie loves pink, but like I was saying, these are big enough that you can fold them over and it covers both sides. So you just take the little wooden clips and clip on. And there you go, they have this fun fort to play in. And like we said, you can configure it however you want because they're just held together with those like double-sided extra sturdy Velcro pieces. We actually have a really exciting kind of makeover planned for their playroom that's going to be happening. It's gonna be a little while before you guys see that, um, but we're really excited about it. It'll be just in time for fall and winter when there's more playing inside. Um, so this is going to fit perfectly into that space, so we're really excited about that. We're gonna bring the girls down to see this. I, of course, will have links down below to Sarah Silk's website, so you guys can go ahead and click that and go check out this stuff. I will have what those are called too, so you can easily search them on their site. They come in a bunch of different colors, so they have the rainbow one, then they have the purple and the pink one, and then I have the three other colors here, which Daisy, or no, four other colors, Daisy's hanging out with. So green, blue, orange, and a yellow as well. Are those comfy days? You're claiming them as your own already? <gasps> yeah. What? Rainbow? Where? We need a door. You need a door? Well, what color do you want? Waving, so we're gonna try to get her. It, it, Renny, wave. Can you? Yeah, good job. Yes, good job. Oh, now you have big waves. She waved for the first time when she was at uh, her six-month appointment, and she waved at a girl in the waiting room. And I was like, that's gotta be like just a coincidence. But she kept doing it, and like she purposely puts her hands out and goes like this. And I just looked down at her, and she looked at me and waved. Can you wave? Say hi. Good job. <laughs> go, 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 go. There are a few snap peas ready at this point. You guys gonna come out here? I want that. We made its way in. Gotta oh. that. Oh. Oh. oh, maybe, maybe it wasn't quite ready. <laughs> that was uh, quite a bit of pulling necessary. Okay. There you go. Is that good? Can I have a bite? Oh, no. Yep, not quite ready yet. Look, there's some more ones. Oh, yep, those ones aren't ready yet, though. It 
It's Saturday morning and I totally just got distracted by my mustache here. But it is Saturday morning, not even 9.30 yet, and we are getting ready to head out the door. Hey, hey kiddos, where are we going? To the pool. We're going to the pool. I get my umbrella because I'm going out to You, oh, yeah, sorry. Okay. Your flippy floppies. Rev, here's your flippy Wait, floppies. Why was I up there? Because you guys have too much stuff in your bin down here, so I was trying to lessen the load. Oh, look, you're missing a bunch of shoes that are supposed to be in there. Boots and shoes and boots and shoes. Boots and shoes and boots and shoes and boots and shoes. Tomorrow, yes. Indeed. filming right now but because daddy has black hands yeah my hands are covered in Show the oh, camera, not the ground. You, you gotta lift it you gotta make sure you see can you see my hands on the screen my hands are all black because we're staining the wood can you wear my hair on my arm <sighs> is that oh, better the problems of the cameraman <laughs> you gotta show that make sure you see it in the camera i see it it looks much smaller <laughs> it does doesn't it yeah Hey guys, it's Sunday. I'm not sure if they started the vlog, so um, we're gonna go ahead and start it. So it is Sunday of Memorial Weekend. Uh, we're preparing for a big lunch, and we have this Tim is and what Tammy. When the kids Remember the fallen grandparents accidentally. We just take over. <laughs> and there's Teresa. We're getting ready to have uh, burgers. Uh, the kids are bringing their veggie burgers and um, pea salad and potatoes and carrots on the grill and onions and garlic. Cookies! Cookies, I mean it's gonna be phenomenal. Everybody's gonna be over. Um, hopefully we'll remember to pick up the camera and uh, enjoy it with you guys, but uh, haven't said hi to you guys in a while, so you guys wanna say hi? Hey, have hi. safe fun, happy Memorial Day weekend, although you've already probably had it, so hopefully it was safe and fun. Everybody's here but Rensley. She is here. She's here, but she's napping. So you can see we got some noodles, we got some watermelon, we got some potatoes, we got some pea salad, hot dogs, hamburgers. The whole shebang. All kinds of good stuff. What? You're all done? Yeah, I ate all that. Oh no, you can eat more. She's trying so hard over there. Is that yummy? <laughs> But I didn't get instructions. That's a good look, honey. Uh, Thanks. <laughs> the powder is it's all like at the top. It's like you have lipstick on. <laughs> Give me a kiss. No thanks. <laughs> you wanna go give daddy a kiss? You have purple lips though. We go together. That wouldn't be fun? No. Oh. <laughs> it's been just a day in the life of Miss Ransley. Always being held. <laughs> Hey, who won, who won the two uh, satellite games? Did you win both? We made a quick trip down to Tim and Tammy's. Yes. And uh, to take a look at the wood that we stained yesterday. <laughs> and here it is. This is the wood for These the. These are the nice looking boards. Yeah, there's there's two different style boards. They're both pine, but like this is cheaper pine, and this is more finished pine. We used part of what we already had, so. I mean, yeah. they're not like so off that it's gonna like look bad or anything nah, like that. Nah, it, it'll look good. But I really like the way it took. Where's the angled board? Uh, over there. Oh. Let's get out of this hot, stuffy garage. It actually seems like it's the humidity has gone down a little bit, which is nice, thankfully, because uh, this morning I was on safety team at church and it, I was standing outside. Oh my goodness, I would 
was sweating just standing there because it was so hot and humid. And that was at like nine o'clock in the morning. Let's take this big old dock top and uh, make our way back home. Can we just leave the door unlocked? big enough that she needs that? I know, it's so big. I mean, it says that you can use the regular dock top to like nine months. But she's already in. Yeah, her clothes. her shoulders are like touching yeah. the edges and yeah. whatnot. Okay, let's lock this up. We're going to dance tonight. Are you coming? And check out some new houses that are being built across the street. Give it up, give it up for Dad's shirt. That's a pretty cool shirt. Yeah. Yeah, because this is the master, that's the master bath with the tub and the shower. Big steps. Uh, there's some plywood sheets that we're deciding whether or not may come in handy. That's that snack board, isn't it? It's um, almost a little after 8.30. Uh, we've been together the whole day, been eating a lot. We've been playing lots of games. Rinsley's here, gonna eat some food. What did we find here? Oh, look at a dragonfly? Yeah. An extinct dragonfly. Yeah. You want to show it to Papa? You want to show it to Papa? Hey, look at his legs. Cool. It looks like a star. Yeah. It is Monday morning, Memorial Day, here in the United States. A day that we remember all of those soldiers that have fought for our country and uh, sacrificed their lives. And we honor them and their families for the enormous sacrifice that they gave, the freedoms that they have protected for our country. If you are a family member of a fallen soldier, we thank you, we honor you, we appreciate you and your fallen family member. We, we really do, we thank you. Here in the United States, most people have off from work. It's a three day weekend and uh, I'm home from work and we're just having fun. This little cutie, hi. She's a little happy camper, huh? Miss Airy is hiding over here. Where's Miss Airy? <gasps> I found you! I found you! Silly goose, and look at her. She's wearing red, white, and blue. The older two and I already went to the pool this morning, and um... Ariana and Rev. Oh yeah, those are the strawberries that died, huh? These are the original strawberries that we planted and that they just kind of randomly popped up. So we don't know if they're actually going to grow too much beyond this or what, but huh, it'll be nice if they do. Mm -hmm. Getting them all a little bit of water. Oh yeah, it says when you prune them to only water from the bottom. Oh, so interesting. cause any disease. Interesting. And Daddy. What's up? Oh, ooh. I think tomatoes are gonna As you start. Comment, we do think this is actually cucumber. Yeah, we do. So this one, like the stem, um, the trunk of it is actually different than the carrots. So we think so this, we think this is, is cucumber, cucumber. but it just it gets, looks the more it looks different. Yeah, you can see. but the leaves originally looked very similar. They look just like a carrot. Yeah, we didn't. We underestimated a little how big the watermelons were. Yeah. Getting. I'm surprised no one told us. Come on, yeah. guys. You're supposed to tell us when we're doing something wrong. <laughs> Ooh, we got peas coming. Yeah. Ooh, all over the place too. Man, look at that. This guy's just not yeah. getting enough sun. I think. Yeah, I think plants. so. I Taking over. Yeah, that tomato's gotten real big. I didn't expect that. I don't know what the deal is with those. I've seen a few that were like that. Where they, like some of them are dying, but here's a good one right here. I don't know if I watered them. I don't. Uh, was it last night that I watered? No, it must have been two nights ago that I watered. And then hold on, a little bite. And sis, you'll get the rest. What? Do we have one coming over here? And, oh yeah, a little one right there. Yeah, the asparagus really grown, huh? 
Yeah, bigger. We're bigger. We're the kite. Up in the sky. If you hear it in the background, it is not thunderstorming. As you can see, nice bright daylight. The kids wanted to listen to thunderstorm sounds from Alexa. So that's what we're listening to. But I've been going through the fridge. As you guys know, we get like a vegetable box, vegetable and fruit box every other Saturday from a local farm. And it's just a bunch of miscellaneous different things. Some of which we haven't tried before, like the kohlrabi that you guys mentioned was really good. And so I was like, we still have kohlrabi. We got our newest box this last Saturday, like two days ago. And we still had kohlrabi from the previous box. As I was going through the fridge, I was like, okay, we gotta figure out a good way to cook this so we will actually eat it. And so I was just looking online and found a recipe for kohlrabi fries. And so I made them and they're more like curly fried, kind of like Arby's curly fries. You wanna try it? It's yummy. Is this the treat? Yep, try it. Tell me what you think. So made these just uh, spiralized kohlrabi, uh, salt, pepper, some avocado oil, and paprika. Really good. Ariana said it kind of reminds her of the Arby's curly fries, in fact. So really good. And then also, I saw that you want more. Okay. Just grab one up. Here, how about I just put some on a plate and then you can kind of pick at it. So the other thing I found was that you could use kohlrabi as like kohlrabi noodles, kind of like we do zucchini noodles where we just spiralize it. So I spiralized it. And the first one that I did didn't quite spiralize as nice as it could or should. So I'm hoping that as I start cooking it, it'll start to come apart a little bit more. Cause like I can pull it apart. Just find different uses um, for some of this food that we've never experienced before. How's your spaghetti? Here it is, kohlrabi noodles with spaghetti sauce. Sauteed the kohlrabi noodles in just avocado oil with some salt, pepper, and garlic. And let that sit for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, stirring occasionally. And then it's softened up a bit. How is it, Air Bear? Is that yummy? Yeah, you like that, huh? Yeah. Ariana just finished making dinner and this looks so good. I, it's not all my idea. I saw someone made barbecue tempeh with cauliflower rice and avocado and it looks really good. Usually people when they do like barbecued something, they add like a brown sugar to it. So I added maple syrup to the brown sugar instead to make it a little sweeter. Sorry, instead of brown syrup, sugar. Instead of brown sugar to the barbecue sauce. Yeah, and then I just did a little bit of cumin and garlic powder with the cauliflower rice, avocado, and I made a little side SPI NAC. Barbecue sauce. Um, so yeah, and then I just did a little bit of SPI NAC. That is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I want you to try and guess where in the house I am currently. And a quick side note, the kohlrabi noodles were better in our opinion than zucchini noodles because they were less watery and more, you know, more dense, I guess. They were definitely a winner. And we think we will continue doing those instead of zucchini noodles going forward. So good, but those fries, oh my goodness, I might have to make some more because they were so good. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you're on YouTube, hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And if you're on Facebook, make sure you follow and then turn on notifications as well uh, so you get notified next time we post a video. We will see your wonderful faces on Thursday. Bye.